to my first vlog in December. Yay! So, welcome to another exciting reading vlog. And if you just by the intro, I figured out how to download <laughs> introductions to my videos because I'm lazy. <clears throat> I'm learning, guys. I'm learning. Today, right now, I'm just doing finances and I have to go get groceries now instead of making the chili, which I'm, we're going to have for supper tonight because your girl forgot to go get more slow cooker bags. Oopsie. So I'm going to do that. Possibly order a gift because I might go to, well, Fortage is too far and I need to get the chili made soon. I might just go to hy -Vee. And then I need to look into getting the last Christmas gift I need to get. Well, second to last Christmas gift because the other one I can get any time. And then I'm almost done. <laughs> Yay! We're going to do that today. I don't really have anything planned until this evening where I'm going to the Christmas show Iowa Central puts on because I haven't been to one in a while with my friends. So that's pretty much it for today. So, but I'm going to go get myself ready because I look like a hot mess because I just woke up and then go get groceries and make chili. So yeah, I'll update you later if I do anything fun and just wanted to say good morning. Hello everybody. So here's an update. So I wanted to show you guys some books that I have gotten throughout the week. You know, I told you guys I was going to stop buying books for a while because I really can't afford it. Yeah, that didn't happen. <laughs> you know, you gotta get a Christmas presents for yourself, right? I have a problem. Anyways, so I finally was able to get to half price books. Finally, because there's one in Clive, which is in like the western part of Des Moines, kind of. So I finally got there and I bought some pretty great deals. And I feel like I'm missing one. I feel like I'm missing one. Hmm. Figure it out later. So I have these three books that I wanted to show you guys here. And I may find the fourth one because I swear I got four. Where is the fourth one? Okay, well, I only have three to show you, and maybe this fourth one doesn't exist, and I am just being dumb. So, <laughs> I bought three books that piqued my interest. One of them is The Dead House by Don Kurtajic. Kurt I'm so sorry if I butchered your name. I'm not very good with names. So this is The Dead House and it says on the front, what kind of dropped, drew me in was the author that left this little blurb on the front that said, what an evil and an original story, scary stuff. And that was written by R.L. Stein. And R.L. Stein is probably one of my favorite like spooky authors um, besides Stephen King and Heather Graham. On the back, I guess let's read what it's about. So the three students dead, one vanished without a trace. <laughs> Two decades have passed since an inferno claimed the lives of three teenagers and caused Carly Johnson to disappear. The main suspect, Caitlin, the girl of nowhere, Caitlin's diary discovered in the ruins of Umbridge High reveals the thoughts of a disturbed mind, but many claim Caitlin doesn't exist. In a way, she doesn't because she is the alter ego of Carly Johnson. Debut author, Don. I'm not even, I'm sorry, <laughs> masterfully weaves together a thrilling and terrifying story is using psychiatric reports, witness testimonies, video footage, and the discovered diary as the mi mystery grows, the horrifying truth about what happened the night of the fire unfolds. R.L. Stein of the Goosebump and the Fear, Fear Street series wrote, you know, about this. Aunt Kendra Blake, which I believe I have Anna dressed in blood. If I don't, it is on my Amazon wish list. Those two authors have intrigued me, and this is what kind of... It almost looks like Lumine Files. How do I show this? <laughs> of what the book kind of looks like, because it's like testimonies and like blurbs, newspapers, some first-hand accounts, but that's like kind of the style of the book, so it has... It's kind of an easy read-through. And that's what kind of drew me, because... I don't know. It just just intrigued me by the little blurb and literally the first line on the back. So I hope to get to this sometime soon. It probably won't be in 2019 since we're literally like three weeks away from, are we three weeks away? Three or four-ish weeks away from the end of the year. So 
that was one book that caught my attention. The next one is I love this author. Ever since I had to read one for one of my history classes, I cannot get enough of her. And that's Sarah Vowell. And I bought Take the Cannon. Or the Cannoli. Take the Cannoli. She is a wonderful author if you ever want to read history through a very, like, funny and sarcastic historian. And she is one of them. And this one, Take the Cannoli, is a moving and wickedly funny collection of personal stories stretched stretching across the immense landscape of the American scene. Vowell takes subject, ta bleh bleh, tackles subjects such as identity, political, religion, art, and history with a biting humor. She searches the streets of Hopkins for traces of the town's favorite son, Frank Sinatra. She goes under cover of heavy makeup in an investigation of goth culture, blasts cannonballs into a hillside on a father-daughter outing, and maps her family's haunted history on a road trip down the Trail of Tears. Vowell has an irresistible voice, acoustic and sympathetic, insightful and double-edged, that is, it attracted a loyal following for her magazine writing and radio monologues on This American Life. She is absolutely one of my favorite historian authors. When I had to read, um, oh, what is the one? Unfamiliar Fishes is the one that I had to read. I loved it. And now I have Assassination, I think it's Assassination Creed or something like that. And it's about like the 1940s, 1950s uh, introduction of the atomic bomb and the craze over the atomic bomb. I haven't read that one yet and I really need to, but I love her and I know I'm going to love this book so much. Now this next one I thought was a steal because as you all know from my top eight um, favorite series of all times video and if you haven't watched that stop right now and go watch it please because I have some very interesting <laughs> series that I picked as my top eight and one of them is the House and Night series that I have on there. And I have pretty much all of the books and also of the new series that they've been releasing. I have all of them except for the latest one that came out, Forgotten. I have all of the novellas except for one. And I do have um, Loved, the graphic novel that they released. And a special edition. Sorry, I keep looking over here because I have them sitting on my shelf right now. I have the Mark special edition and then I have the Wisdom House of Night themed tarot cards. I was looking through half price bookshelf and I found House of Night and I noticed a book that looked different and I'm like wait a minute that's not because I have the hardback version of this book so I'm like that's not the American edition so guess who found the UK edition of Destined which is one of my favorite books towards the end of this series of House of Night and I thought it was just so cool that I was able to find it and now I have on the back of the ones that I can find for this series. Oh, it just made me so happy when I found this because I was like, this is so beautiful. Like this is more beautiful than the actual United States edition. So, oh, sorry. It makes me happy when I find really cool covers, editions of books that I really love. So, no. Speaking of books that I really love and interesting editions, so just released, I think it was this year or maybe last year, to celebrate the 10th anniversary of this book that out. And I had to, I had to grab it because it was so pretty. And that is Clockwork Angel by Cressandra Clare. And this is the 10th anniversary edition. And I didn't know what I was getting. But look at that. Like, look at all of this detailed work and all of the mechanisms. I, it's so pretty. And then on the back, it has a quote from inside, from the story. But what really attracted me, and I need to get the City of Bones one, is look at that. That's Tessa, and that is so beautiful. So beautiful. <laughs> and then it has... Tessa in here. It pretty much has all the main characters. Um, and at the beginning it has like the Dear Readers. It has the map with all the buildings outlined. Oh, it's just so, so pretty. So I was so happy when I found this on Amazon and it really wasn't that expensive. So I was like, heck yeah, I'm gonna, you know, nab this deal up. And now I regret not doing it for City of Bones. 
I am so happy that this is in my collection and this is pretty much my favorite Shadowhunters book out of the whole Shadowhunters series. So I'm just so happy. And this will be displayed with my other Shadowhunter books, which is up in a corner kind of shelf that's meant for a TV. Um, once my shelf goes up, the one that I'm waiting for my dad to help me finish, those books will probably come down and something else will get put up there. But yeah, this, this was a great find. <laughs> now I do have some more books coming. I have my first YA book of the month box coming in with two books. Um, I have my last unplugged book box since I canceled my subscription, which I did kind of explain in a past reading vlog. So the reason why I'm not doing it is because I have a student loan payment staring at my face this month and I just couldn't do it um, for a while. So I'm hoping I can uh, renew it next year. And I, but I didn't know I was going to get one until I realized, duh, they charged me in November for the December one. So they're going to give me the December one. So that one should be coming. I don't know if it'll be for this vlog. But it should be here, I'm hoping, for the next one. Because usually they, it takes a little bit for them to fish, officially ship it. But then once they ship it, it's like almost overnight or within two days. Like it's really fast. And then I have a book box um, from Book Outlet coming with four different books. As you can tell, I went on a shopping spree splurge. Oopsie. <laughs> oh, I did forget one book. And it's literally staring at me in the face. So I did get another book from Amazon. And I thought this was such a pretty addition. And the story intrigued me. And that was Everless by Sarah Holland. Look at that pretty cover. I just love that. And so the story is about in the land of Semper... I'm sorry, I'm going to butcher this name again. Sempera, the rich control everything, even time, ever since the fabled age of alchemy and sorcery hours days and years have been extracted from blood bound to iron and preserved in coins now aristocrats like the girling family flourish for gen centuries while commoners live out their scant years in bitter resentment and no one resents the girlings more than jules ember she and her father were once servants at everless the girlings played a little estate until a fateful accident drove them away now desperate to earn time jules re returns to everless amidst preparations for the wedding of rome the youngest girling lord to the queen's daughter between Rowan's unexpected kindness, his brother Liam's cruelty, and the chilling rumors surrounding the Queen, Everless holds more temptation and danger than Jules thought possible. The stories of her childhood begin to take on a new significance, spying her deeper into a past she hardly recognizes, and really revealing a tangle of violent secrets that could change her future, and the future of time itself forever. I thought that was kind of intriguing, and I am always a sucker for fantasy kind of like paranormal well this is not really paranormal but fantasy magic romantic stories with some adventure into it i'm always a sucker and since this kind of has a little bit of history into it too with diving back it looks like into the main character but i did not know this book has deckled edges and i love love deckled edges in books so that was a good fun I don't really have anything planned. I do, I'm going to be eating chili with my dad here shortly when my boyfriend and my dad get off work. And then I have the Christmas kind of concert thing tonight at Iowa Central. And then that's pretty much it that I had planned today. I did try to get some reading in, but then I got distracted because I forgot cinnamon rolls. And then my aunt and uncle came over. And right now I don't know if I'm really in the mood to start reading. So, but anyways... I have started like a page or two into Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. However, I did start it. I've been kind of busy this week, so that's why I didn't start it during this week and also trying to edit videos and trying to figure out how to edit videos, trying to dive more into it. And now I finally have an int figured out intros. I kind of figured out how to put sounds to videos. I'm learning. So <laughs> yeah. So I might just watch some videos or, you know what, I might read. Maybe I'm in the mood to read. So let's just start a um, reading montage right now.
Good morning, everybody. It is a very sunshiny day. Kind of. It's a little hazy on this Saturday morning. And yeah, I'm sorry I didn't vlog. I did have the intention of vlogging some of the concert, and then I realized, wait a minute, maybe I shouldn't. So, and yeah, but it was a very nice holiday concert. I got to hang out with pretty much my like two best friends. We had a girls night, which we needed. We really needed with the weeks that we kind of had. And we got to catch up with an old friend. His name is, well, his nickname is Dragon. I'm not gonna say his real name just for identity purposes. And it was really fun catching up with him at Applebee's afterwards. Oh my goodness. I have not laughed like that in so long. Probably since Iowa Central. Like, I miss my Iowa Central friends so much. Um, yeah, just a great old time. I had to get home till 11, so I would have vlogged a little bit about my day. Like, to recap, but I was just so tired. I ended up just like putting on pajamas and just going upstairs and going to bed because I was just too tired <laughs> to care. So sorry, not sorry. So today on this wonderful Saturday, hopefully it warms up a little bit because it's only 35 degrees, but it is supposed to be in the 40s today because Iowa weather cannot make up its mind if it wants to be winter or fall. So I am heading to town right now because I forgot to get a chocolate cake mix for my mom's birthday. Her mom, her birthday was on Thursday and guess who forgot to say happy birthday to her? I am a horrible daughter. So I'm planning a lunch thing tonight for, or yeah, lunch thing at night, um, a dinner thing tonight. I cannot speak. I am like functioning on no caffeine right now and I need to fix that. I'm going to get her chocolate cake mix. I made the dish that she wanted me to make for supper tonight, and which is pizza bake, which is one of my specialties I love to make. Blake loves it, and he doesn't like sharing it when I make it, but he'll just have to get over it. <laughs> That's how much he loves it. And I'm going to bake it. Then I have to meet my president of the association board I work for because we need to finish putting Christmas decorations on the outside of the museum, which I'll show you guys that when it's done, because it's so pretty, and I'll have to come back and get a night picture of it, because it's so, so pretty. Um, we have the fence already lit up, and it's, it's great. And then, obviously, the dinner, so I'm hoping to fit in some reading in there. Might not until later tonight. And I do plan on editing pretty much what I have of the vlog so far tonight since it's I don't have a lot I only have like one huge chunk which you, you've already pretty much of me showing books that I've gotten recently <laughs> I have a problem guys <laughs> which is probably every booktuber's problem or anybody who loves reading books is buying books and then you realize your TBR list has grown my TBR cart is so freaking full it's not even funny so and I don't know when my unplugged, my last unplugged book box is coming. It should be sometime next week, so I will be doing, I won't be doing a separate video for that. I'll probably just have to wait, or I could just squeeze it in to the vlog, film it, um, since that's my last book box, unplugged book box for a while. Even though I said I couldn't afford it, I did do the book of the month YA because it was a little bit more affordable and now I do have room to squeeze because my boyfriend got a pay raise at work, so yay! Um, that helps me out a little bit. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know what else to talk about. So I'm going to walk into Fairway and, well, I'm driving, I can't walk there right now. <laughs> and go get the cake mix and then I'll see you guys after the cake is done. All right, everybody. So the cake is now in. It's right there. Hello. And yes, I need to clean my screen on my oven. 
So it needs to sit for at least 25 minutes before I check it again or when I start to smell it's getting done. But now, I think since I have about 25 to 26 minutes to read, I can read and also eat the leftover mix. Yeah. Leave a comment down below if your favorite part of baking is the leftover mix you can eat. Yes, I chances with eggs in my life. Oops. Anyway, I'm gonna eat this and then let's get to reading. So the cake is almost done and I figured I'll give you guys a little reading update. So I am now past the whole altercation with Harry and his Aunt Marge, which is not really his aunt. <laughs> Sorry, my dog is like playing with the balls on the tree, which shouldn't. And so now I'm in the scene where he's in Diagon Alley and he's been there for about a week. and. Witnesses the firebolt, and I totally forgot he was so entranced by the firebolt. And if I'm not mistaken, I think he somehow mysteriously gets it. And I think it was because of his uncle, his family member, and his guardian that he was supposed to go to if something were to happen to his parents. But I'm not going to give that much away yet, because I'm not 100% sure how the events played out. Because, yes, I've seen the movie. So, <laughs> um... What I think I might do tonight when I get home after I edit is I may watch the movie because I think that would be the best bet is to watch the movie so when I read the books I can accurately like pinpoint I'm like okay this is what the movie had but this is what the book had kind of like what I did in my rant video on Thursday and seeing how they're different and I may possibly do that as like a video series because um, I don't know if I'll ever get the books finished for the vlog so that I can like accurately review them and like my reaction to, you know, the first time reading these through and how I feel about what the movie did versus what the book did and, you know, vice versa. So, right now I'm at that scene and yeah, so I'm really liking it so far. It's a little bit more faster pace this time around, which I kind of like because I didn't like the whole intro to the second book. It just felt so drawn out a little bit. So it's a little bit more fast paced, which I like. And yeah, so right now I'm gonna let the cake So I'm gonna let the cake finish cooking. And then I'm going to head out and go get my brother and head to the museum so we can finish decorating. So, yeah. I'll update you guys later. Hello, everybody. So, update. It is now 8.14. I just got finished editing what I have of the vlog so far. I had a delicious supper and wonderful time with my family. And I even got to use one of my bath bombs. I mean, I kind of got interrupted because my friend, she got her ga uh, gaming computer for the first time, so I was trying to help her out with that. Not her fault, I mean, but yeah. And plus the bath water was kind of cold, so <laughs> it was not warm at all, even though I had the hot water like on full blast. <laughs> but that's okay. I still got to enjoy the bath bomb, even though it came out of like a weird orange. <laughs> so, but yay, I got some of the most of the vlog done and I'll probably edit this one but now I think I'm gonna go pop some popcorn go get a soda and go watch Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban that's what I'm gonna do All right so this will probably be my last check-in for tonight so I will see you guys tomorrow hello everybody it is a wonderful and shiny and a little bit warmer Sunday morning 
okay. Just walk behind my car. I wish people realized that, you know, you're not in a crosswalk. You have to watch out for vehicles. Especially when I can't see them. Anyways, not my rant for this morning. I just got done with church. Um, I had to play bells for church this morning, and I've actually kind of find it as a comfort to go to church and talk to people. Other than myself. Yikes. I need to get more friends. Went and played. That was fun. Met a person who used to play the actual uh, chimes. So now I guess I'm dubbed as the chime player person. If anybody needs a chime player. Yikes. I'm gonna figure it out. <laughs> Which reminds me, I need to get my bassoon out and play. So that might be something I might do today. Because I need to figure out if my reeds are still working or not. Because one, I knew it was going flat really bad. And one, I was working on it and it actually plays in tune. It's just stuffy and I don't know how to fix it. So I need to figure out how to fix it funs of being a double read player. <laughs> but other than that, I really do not have any plans today other than probably go home and do whatever I want. I finished editing so far of the vlog. Vlog? Wow. Vlog. Can't say my V's right, I guess. And yeah, I, I just wanted to pop in and say good morning. And yeah. Um, I what I did I guess I could talk about my experience with what I've read so far in watching Prisoner of Azkaban. The beginning of the movie is kind of like sped through, which is like normal, um, and it kind of mirrors the book a little bit of how sped through it was. Except one thing I noticed that was a little different is that Harry notices in the newspaper in the Mongoli newspaper of a guy named Sirius, or Black, I can't remember, I think it was his last name, and so he already kind of had an inkling of this suspicious character that, like, this huge serial killer or whatever madman is running around, so when he gets to the bus, it's not a surprise when he sees it in the newspaper from the guy that's flipping through the, new the paper on the front, and I'm just like... Huh. So that's a big difference. Um, so Harry doesn't know anything until he gets on the bus. And the whole scene where he sees the big black wolf is different. Like he's in a park and he sees it in the bushes across near a bench. Instead in the movie, he sees it between like somebody's garage and bushes. So... Yeah. That's the only things I've noticed that is different. And I... I enjoy the movie also, so yeah. But anywho, I'm on my way home. That's the only thing I saw in The Prisoner of Azkaban that I thought was like noteworthy maybe of talking about, but this one is not upsetting me as much because as, as I said, I liked Prisoner of Azkaban, but it's not my favorite movie or anything. So yeah, well, I'm just on my drive home. I do plan on wanting to read today because I want to get a good chunk of Prisoner of Azkaban out of the way. And then practice for soon, probably, and I look like I just got a message from my co my boyfriend's cousin, who looks like my part for a Christmas show that I'm, or Christmas sermon I'm playing at um, down in Des Moines in a couple of weeks just came in. So, I want to answer that when I get home. And, oh, before I end it, I did get notifications. I should be getting the YA book box, my book outlet, and my unplugged next week. Or sometime this week. It's the beginning of this week, about Tuesday and Wednesday is when those boxes are supposed to come in. So I'm going to do a special add-on to next week's vlog with those openings. So, heard it from my mouth. Hopefully I remember. I'm pretty sure I will. So it's going to be a big kind of unboxing because I'm one of those people that can't wait like two one or two weeks to open these boxes because I get really excited getting like little presents to myself so yeah plenty enough of that
this rambling and this update for now. So, I will update you later. Hello everybody, just checking in now. So this is going to be my last update for the vlog. I'm going to end it right here. I just got done pretty much finishing my spread for the Magical Winter Readathon 2019. And I just filled out my chapter 2 prompt, which is, it's Hufflepuff themed, and the prompt is read a book with an orange on the cover or the word orange in the title. And I just kind of did something simple because I don't really know what to draw for a Hufflepuff, I guess. I'm sorry, but they kind of get a little overshadowed by like the Slytherin and Gryffindor rivalry in the movies. So that's what I did. And of course I put, right now I'm reading Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban since I finished the second book. And since it kind of has like a peachy kind of orangish color on the cover, so I was like, you know what? That's going to count for it. So I have to get that done this week. And I only got one prompt this week. Thank goodness. I don't know what I'm going to do if I get three prompts. Like if it's over Christmas, then that's fine. But <laughs> chapter three, I also kind of did some doodling on those. And I'm not really proud of them, so I'm not going to show them. So, so that's the next prompt. But yeah, I'm just going to end it right here. Thank you so much for watching. It was kind of an eventful vlog and kind of not like usual but eh, so does my life go <laughs> sometimes next week weekend i am a little busy so i'm hoping to vlog some of that i'm not 100 percent sure because next sunday night i have the open house christmas open house for the museum so yeah i'm gonna go you guys have a wonderful week thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next video Bye.